हेलो चेक Good morning to all present here. We welcome you to the investiture ceremony of Good Shepherd International School for the year 2024. The chief guest for the day is Ms. Lena Joseph, Chairperson, Manna Trust, India, who is also an alumnus of Good Shepherd Public School. Ladies and gentlemen. The bugle call will announce the arrival of the chief guest Ms Lena Joseph which will be followed by the march past The buglers are Sanmay Ahlani Parnava Chaudhary Akash Babu Avyukt Nagpal and Kushal Ishwar The chief guest will be escorted by the guard commanders Kanisha Shah Ishika Agarwal Jash Desai and Jerjesh into the stadium The parade commander of the Sea Cadet Corps, leading cadet Kanishk Magesh, will invite the chief guest to review the parade. The chief guest will be escorted by the guard commander and the director of activities, Mr. Dominic Jude Hurst, to review the guard of honor. The pipe band will play the tune "Pride of Scotland." The march past will begin with the horse contingent taking the lead. they will be led by dev desai holding the sword and pranav goel holding the flag the boy school captain shiv manish punjabi bearing the school flag with hemangani winkle chawla the girl school captain bearing the school insignia will lead the various contingents followed by the parade commander leading cadet kanishk magesh the girls scc platoon will be led by the leading cadet nishi dobaria leading cadet yashvi magesh gajera and leading cadet yashashvi singh anand takur the boys scc platoon will be led by leading cadet aryavats leading cadet abraham jacob and leading cadet sarthak agarwal they will be followed by spring house the house will be led by sidan soni the boys house captain bearing the flag and the girls house captain riva siroya holding the placard the senior brass band will play the tune vijay bharat next will be the junior brass band led by the band majors atulya gode gokul ragram reddy and kevin john joseph mudalali summer house will be led by the boys house captain shlok sorathia holding the flag and the girls house captain purva amit patel holding the placard Summer house will be followed by the pipe band led by the band majors S Varshita, Jitesh Srivanapusa and Hamsika Mahalakshmi. They will march to the tune Bharat Ke Jawan played by the junior brass band. Following them will be Autumn House led by the boys house captain Yash Chauhan holding the flag and the girls house captain Namya Surana bearing the placard. They will march to the tune Valley of the Green played by the pipe band. Winter House will march next and will be led by the boys house captain AP Magiran the flag bearer and Pragati Prakash the girls house captain holding the placard. The senior brass band will follow Winter House led by the band majors Hargun Singh, Pawan Kumar Hegde and Naman Punamia. They will play the tune Hanste Lushai. Yes, 
The captains will now march forward and present the school and the house flags. Dear parents and guardians, our student leaders have reached an important milestone in their lives. Today, we are gathered here to witness and appreciate the formal recognition of student leadership. The captains and prefects who are waiting to be sworn in have been selected after a rigorous process in which they have proven their eligibility and suitability for the positions they have been selected for. Our student leaders are those who are dedicated, responsible, and committed to serving the school community by upholding the core values and beliefs of their alma mater with a desire and passion to see the school grow from strength to strength. Our student leaders will not only become the voice of the student body, but play a critical role in fostering a positive and productive environment for their peers and juniors. They have and will continue to set an example in maintaining high standards of conduct and discipline in the classroom and beyond. As captains and prefects, they will learn the ethics of leadership and work together as a team as they embrace and celebrate diversity. We will now have the slow march performed by the new Prefects Council. The pipe band will play the tune, The Mist Covered Mountains.
The pipe band will now move out and get seated as the prefects get ready for the investiture ceremony. All are requested to rise and join in singing the school song, Hail Good Shepherd, our alma mater. The school captain, Shiv Manish Punjabi of grade 12, will lead us in prayer. All students are repeat the prayer. Please bow ahead. Oh dear good shepherd, make our school a home away from our home. Make us always feel that we all belong to a family 
and that the teachers are like our parents. We believe that you speak through them when we listen to them. Give more wisdom to all concerned with us so that they may guide us always on the right path. Make us know your presence and power by rewarding and punishing us. Let us not become proud when we are rewarded and let us not become humiliated when you punish us for our mistakes. Give us enough strength to forget and forgive as you forgive us our sins. We thank you for the showers of blessings on this school for its growth and progress into a big and a good school. Give us everything to make our lives in this school a happy one. This we ask for your love's sake. Amen. Please be seated. We begin the investiture ceremony with the administering of the oath of office to the captains and prefects. I request the principal and director, Dr. Madhav Dev Saraswat, to kindly do the honors and formally invest the prefect's council with the powers they need to carry out their duties. Oath of office. I. Hereby solemnly pledge, Hereby solemnly pledge on, my honor, on my honor that I will carry out my duties, carry out my duties faithfully, faithfully truthfully, truthfully, and to the best of my ability. Best of my ability. I, shall I shall remain loyal to my school, to my, school, to my, superiors, to my superiors, and to the students placed under me. I further pledge to honor the school law and the code of conduct and to work for the honor and glory of the school, subjugating self for the common weal, promise to do my duties in a manner that will serve as an example to others, upholding the dignity of the badge of office, and to strive to preserve a sense of humor, and above all, be a gentle person. I, Madhavdev Saraswat, as your head teacher, hereby invest you with the responsibility of being a member of the Prefectorial Council and charge you to honor the pledge you have taken. All the best. Thank you, sir. I now request the President, Mr. Jacob Thomas, the Senior Vice President, Student and Staff Welfare, Mrs. Sarah Jacob, the Principal and Director, Dr. Madhav Dev Saraswat, to kindly escort the Chief Guest, Ms. Lena Joseph, to the stage facing the pavilion. The newly elected Prefects Council will now be presented with a badge by the outgoing captains and a certificate by the Chief Guest. We will begin with the School Captains for Boys and Girls, 
who will be felicitated by the outgoing school captains Himangani Winkle Chawla and Shiv Manish Punjabi. The boys' school captain, Abraham Jacob. The girls' school captain, Araya Vastani. We next have the games captains. The outgoing games captain, Advait Pratesh Panshal, will present the badge to the incoming games captains. The boys games captain, Kanishk Magesh. The games captain for girls, Rebecca Jacob. The captains and prefects for the four houses will come next. From Spring House, we have the outgoing house captains, Sidan Soni and Riva Siroya, are ready to congratulate the new captains and prefects. The house captain for girls from Spring House, Priyadarshini Suresh Babu. House prefect, girls, Hanisha Yama Patel. House Prefect Boys, Harshraj Sinvanar. And Huttarth Dansukbai Nandanya. Next is Summer House, the house captain for boys, Kevin John Joseph Mudalali. The incoming captains and prefects of Summer House will receive the badge from the outgoing captains, Shlok Soratia and Purva Amit Patel. The girls' house captain for Summer House, Nidhi Agarwal. The girls' house prefect, Adya Harlalka. And the boys' house prefect, Jayam Deep Shah. Next comes Autumn House. The captains and prefects will receive their badge from the outgoing captains Yash Chauhan and Namya Surana. The house captain for boys, Shreyansh Mali.
the house captain for girls, Hansika Sanaya Patapati. The girls' house prefect, Yashvi Magesh Kajera. The boys' house prefects, Gokul Raghuram Reddy. And Ishan Kailash Katepur. Ishan Kailash Katepur, the Autumn House Prefect. We next have Winter House. AP Magurin and Pragati Prakash, the outgoing captains, will appreciate the incoming leaders as they present them with a badge. The House Captain for Boys, T.S. Nishant Talamutu. The House Captain for Girls, S. Varshita. And the Girls House Prefect, Maisha Harsh Parekh. Thank you, ma'am. The newly appointed girls' school captain, Araya Vastani, will now deliver the welcome address. Good morning to one and all present here. A new day heralds a new beginning, and today, we are ready to embark on a vital new journey. I am thrilled to welcome you all to this momentous occasion, the Investiture Ceremony, a significant event marking the beginning of a new academic and leadership chapter. Today, we are investing the emerging leaders among us who have shown their dedication, resilience, and commitment to our school community with their well-deserved posts. In their hands, we place trust and responsibility, confident that they will guide us towards a brighter tomorrow. Firstly, I would like to welcome our respected and esteemed chief guest, Ms. Lena Joseph, for making the time to be here on this auspicious day. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to our co-founder, Mrs. Elsima Thomas, President, Mr. Jacob Thomas, Senior Vice President, Student and Staff Welfare, Mrs. Sarah Jacob, Principal and Director, Dr. Madhav Dio Saraswat, members of the Academic Council, staff at all levels, parents, and all the students present here. Having Ms. Lena Joseph with us to celebrate this important day when the school affirms its trust in the newly invested office bearers is an immense honor. She is the chairperson of Mana Trust India, 
a highly enthusiastic development professional with passion towards millions of underprivileged children. Ms. Lena Joseph started working as a volunteer and took up the school education program. She has been the driving force behind the Midday Meal program since 2002, serving as the national director for the program at the central government. Over two decades of experience in the development sector has helped MAM make MANA's Midday Meal scheme more child-friendly. She has won numerous national awards, and including the prestigious Ashoka Changemakers Award in the year 2010, and Best Social Enterprise Award from CNBC TV 18 in 2011. Her efforts and impact on eliminating the hunger of school children have even won the program a place in the Limca Book of World Records. Ms. Lena Joseph was invested with the post of head girl of Good Shepherd Public School during the years 1982 and 83 and 1983 to 84. As a token of our appreciation, I request you to accept this small bouquet from the GSIS community as a whole. Once again, I would like to welcome you, Ms. Lena Joseph, with great pleasure. Thank you. I now invite the chief guest, Ms. Lena Joseph, to address the school. Good morning, everyone. Ma'am, the mother hen who keeps all the students under her wings and had all our school years a home away from home. I would like to remember Dr. P.C. Thomas now, who's been our guide and our mentor. Dignitaries on the dais, esteemed faculty, proud, proud parents, dear students, and most importantly, the esteemed leaders of tomorrow, the Student Council of 2425 of our beloved GSIS. It is with immense pride and gratitude that I stand before you today, returning to my alma mater to witness the special occasion in our school calendar. Not too long ago, I walked the corridors of this very school, of course, in a different campus, and experienced the honor of being part of this prized fraternity. Today, as we gather to formally appoint the new school council, I am filled with a deep sense of nostalgia and excitement for the journey that you all are about to embark on. Leadership is not merely about holding a title or position of authority, but rather about listening, learning, and then leading by example. Each of you, as members of the student council, has been chosen for a special purpose, to serve as torchbearers of the values and ethos of our institution. Today, I want to share a story that might just change the way you think about leadership. It's about a man named Drew Dudley, who on his last day of college had a life-changing encounter with a student in his campus. It was the time the student, a girl, had come to the campus for the first time. She was scared, and she was feeling the weight of the tough years ahead. Tears welled in her eyes as she walked around the campus with her parents. She was ready to quit before she even began. But then, in walked Drew Dudley, wearing the goofiest hat and the wildest shirt you could imagine. He was on a mission handing out lollipops to raise money for a college charity. When he reached this girl, he saw and he could make out that she was very nervous. And he did something unexpected. Instead of giving her a lollipop, he handed it to the boy next to her and said, give this lollipop to the beautiful girl standing next to you. The boy gives the lollipop to the girl, and Ruth turned to the girl's parents and joked, looks like she's already taking candy from strangers on her first day of college. Everyone laughed, including the girl. At that moment, she felt a sense of ease and belonging. 
she decided to give college a chance, and she never looked back. Now, after a few years, when she told Drew about this incident, he had no memory of it. He couldn't believe that such a small act could have such a big impact, but it did. It changed her life. I'm sharing this story with you because it's a reminder that leadership isn't about grand gestures or fancy titles. It's about the little things we do every day to make a difference in someone else's life. So what are, what are your lollipop moments? What small acts of kindness, of compassion, of leadership are you going to create? Because leadership isn't just for the extraordinary moments or for a chosen few. It's for all of us. It's about how we treat the people around us, how we make them feel, how we lift them up. So as you step into your roles as leaders here at GSIS, remember this. Leadership is in the everyday moments. In the, it is in the smiles you share, the hands you hold, the words of encouragement you offer. It's in the way you make people feel seen, heard, and valued. As members of the Student Council, you have been entrusted with the power to change, influence, guide, and learn from your peers. Embrace this responsibly, responsibility with humility, maturity, and a steadfast commitment, commitment to the values of integrity, duty, and faith. Having once stood in your shoes and serving as school captain for two consecutive years, I think I still hold the record of two consecutive years. Oh, thank you. I'm really proud. I understand the privilege and honor that comes with serving as a leader within this community. May you forge a spirit of leadership, morality, integrity, and discipline in your own lives and inspire others to do the same. As you embark on this journey, remember that leadership is not about the little you hold, but the impact you make and the legacy you leave behind. Lead with courage, compassion, and conviction, and never underestimate how the power of your actions shape the world for the better tomorrow. Congratulations, Student Council of 2024-25. May you rise to the challenges ahead with grace, resilience, and unwavering dedication to the values of our institution. Thank you, and God bless. I call upon Abraham Jacob, the newly elected boy school captain, to express the school's gratitude to all who have added significance to this occasion. Good morning to our chief guest, parents, guardians, members of the academic council, teachers and students. I want to thank everyone for being present here today and for working very hard to bring this event together. I thank Mr. Jacob Thomas, President, Ms. Sarah Jacob, Senior Vice President. Thank you to our dear principal, Dr. Madhav Dhiyo Saraswath. It was an absolute pleasure having you initiate us as prefect, sir. And I'm sure it will be a pleasure to work with you, sir. Don't worry, no sarcasm, sir. <laughs> it's an auspicious occasion, and it wouldn't have been possible without the help of Mr. Dominic Hurst, our Director of Activities, who has always remained consistent with his impeccable event planning. I want to take this opportunity to thank Ms. Lena Joseph for gracing us with her presence. It was an altogether edifying experience listening to your words, ma'am. Please accept a bouquet, um, a memento on behalf of our school. I would also like to thank the coaches, students, and outgoing prefects for having supported us, not just on this very day, but for the last year and the years before. Coaches and teachers, we know that without your support, we would have not marched the way we did. My fellow students, we wouldn't even have had a parade without you. 
and therefore it is with great pride and honor that I'm able to express my gratitude to all of you. The sound team, as always, hats off to you and the way you help us as our technical support. Our dear photographers who digitally immortalize our best moments, thank you very much. Jackson sir and Sasi sir, our campus managers, always on the ball for every event, procuring everything we need. Finally, I'd like to thank my fellow prefects for not only listening to this vote of thanks after standing in the sun for almost two hours, <clears throat> but for also having the courage to put yourself out there, apply and go through the seven round process that quite literally tests your patience, your self-image, and most of all, your character. Once again, thank you all for coming together to make this event a most memorable one. Thank you. All are requested to rise for the national anthem. School attention.